Yo, and welcome to the show all about promoting the sport of lawn bowls. I'm Zach Woning, and this is Casual Bowls. On this week's episode, we caught up with Lucas Protopappas about his work with the national rankings. And I'll bring you a few local tournaments, and not so local to this area, but within Victoria, uh, of new tournaments that have become rankings events. Uh, we also spoke to Lucas about the State Disability Squad, and his involvement with that. And of course, we'll bring you word about our first sponsor, Schrunger Schnitzel Crumb. Say that three times fast. Good on you, Leroy. Thanks for getting around us, buddy. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now, for those who don't know Lucas, started at the age of nine down at Heatherdale and has since played for Mulgrave and Ringwood before settling in at Heathmont. And there he is there with old mate Simon Jeffries, the coach of Heathmont. They have a great club down there and I'll be keeping a close eye on them this season as one of my favourites to be promoted to the Premier League. Now, let's get to Lucas. Hey, good day, Lucas. Hello, Zach. How are you? Good, mate. How's yourself? Not too bad, thank you. Try and enjoy lockdown. But, yeah. Oh, no, it's crazy, isn't it? Very crazy. Yeah. It's a shame I'd have you in the studio, but this is we're gonna have to make do with Zoom. So you're yeah. looking fit. You're looking fit and well. You've been hitting the gym. <laughs> oh yeah, I wish. <laughs> no, no, just trying to keep fit around the house, walking around, and uh, yeah. yeah. Are you uh, you working at all? Yeah, so I work at uh, Bowls Victoria through the summer. So I do all the um, pennant results from. Oh, yeah. Premier League down to Division 6 or 7, however many we've got. Nice. And, um, and also Midweek Pennant as well. So, and then I work at Bowls Australia as well. So I do the Bowls Australia ranking points system. Okay. And I also do um, the accreditation cards. So like the coaches' cards, the umpires' cards. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Nice. So I've been enjoying it a lot. Yeah, a lot oh, of volunteer yeah. work. Yeah. So yeah, so no, it's good. BA it's much needed during Yeah. Six yeah, so years I've been now. with BA wow. for six years. And um and Bowls Vic, I think it's around six. Yeah, it's six to seven years. So six years. Yeah, it's a long, <laughs> long, long time. Long, long time. It's a long time. Right. So you're but doing yeah. the national rankings, you said. Yeah. So what do you actually do with them? Yeah, so what I do is um, I try to get um, a lot of clubs around Australia to uh, get their tournaments to be a ranking event, so they can yeah. um, uh, so they can get the best players there from around the country, um, and uh, that their their main goal is to try and win the um, number one female or male bowl of the year award. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's a really big achievement for them. What is the prize for? Do they get anything special a, for winning number one bowl? Yeah, so you get three thousand dollars. Oh wow! From, Why from aren't the, I playing more tournaments? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely going to help uh, with more clubs running more rankings events. Um, I know there's a couple extras coming up. I know Middle Park. Uh, they've turned their Alan Vance, or what was formerly named Alan Vance. Uh, I'm not actually sure the name of that. I should look it up. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so they've got theirs on the grand. Yeah, so that's fours. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. And that's uh, now a rankings event, isn't it? It wasn't last year. That's a ranking year. event as well. Yeah. And yeah. your club, Bayswater, they've got their triples as, as well on that day. We are, um, yeah. Which is very yeah, unfortunate so for me because I'm actually the reigning champ of that Alan Vance. I won that last oh, year over at Middle yeah. Park and I can't defend my title because I've got to support the new club and play for them. So oh, that's a bit un yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But... To change it around. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told Zeno yet. I don't know if he's gonna to be too thrilled, but Oh, bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Zach, too, um the so the ranking event as well. So how you actually go through to register it. Yeah. Is you Go onto the Bowls Australia website. Okay. And you go under events, and if you click into the rankings 
um, and information, you click into there and you scroll down and it will say register your event. And you, obviously you follow the prompts, um, what it tells you. And it needs to be, obviously your, your tournament needs to be over three grand in prize money and it can't be invitational. So it it's can't be, be invitational. Uh, can't be invitational. No. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be open to everyone. No, that's all right. So what's the minimum is three grand? Once you're the minimum three is three grand. grand. Yep. So that's yep. um, tier four. And yep. um, and then if you have your prize money, which is about 12 grand and up, um, you can go as a tier three event. Yeah. With us in Victoria, we don't have a lot of ranking tournaments because of our pennant seasons gone from, you know, 14 to 18 or 18 to 14 we you know we've got so many bowls to play yeah but unfortunately it doesn't go to what <laughs> the ranking part of it um yeah yeah it's a shame but i mean yeah. i mean that's that's the work you're doing encouraging people and that's hopefully the work i'm going to be doing as well doing this show is um correct is yeah. pushing pushing more tournaments and encouraging more people more clubs to run tournaments uh correct. for ranking points yeah because there's Correct. plenty of tournaments around and a lot of them are just sort of around the, there's a lot of smaller ones around the 1,000 to 3,000 mark. But I mean, if they find some better sponsors, if they can find some more entries or even raise the prize money up slightly, um, get it over that three grand mark and, and apply to you for those rankings. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And that's, and that's what we want. We want a lot of tournaments out there to come out and be a ranking event. Now, a lot of people will say, why? Do we have to do this? Because we'll give you much, we'll give you more publicity, um, and you know you you might get Karen Murphy, you might get Carla Krasanik, you know yeah. you might even get Courtney, yeah. Courtney Gadby out there. You might get Lisa Phillips out there. So yeah, absolutely, you know the more of these kind of players we can get out into the um, local clubs, the better our yeah team will be. Yeah. Yeah. As well, when you're going to put a tournament on, um, let's just say the tournament is on in October, I would give yourself a good, at least a month to two yeah. months to put the entry in because and then once the um, form comes out, we can put it straight onto the website and a lot of the clubs will can see that it's a ranking event. Um, yeah, okay. You know, you don't really want to do it if the tournament's already full because, you know, you might not get a lot no. of the people there. Um, yeah. but even in saying that, even if the tournament is full, you know, you, you want to get it to ranking, just put it straight on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, I'd give yourself at least two months. You've got my details, Zach. So if any clubs that need, um, absolutely, assistance, yeah. please, um, yeah, give me a call or email and I can yeah. talk them through it. Yeah. It's pretty easy. No dramas. So some good stuff there from Lucas. And he's 100% right. If we can make these tournaments into rankings events, just hit that 3K mark. Uh, not only do you have the chance of attracting some of these higher profile players in, but you just create that little bit more buzz and excitement, not only around the tournament, but around your club as a whole. Now, as mentioned in that video, Middle Park have their Marston Vance Fours. I did look that up, their Marston Vance Fours. Murrumbina Park also have a Fours event on that day, as do Bayswater Bowls Club my club now Marston Vance have played in that before uh formerly the Allen Vance great bar great people great greens down there Murrumbina Park I unfortunately have never played in that one it has been around for quite a while now uh apparently their catering is brilliant sure the greens are beautiful too I can't remember the last time I've been down there honestly so unfortunately I can't go down and have a watch because I will be playing at Bayswater being that it is my club uh, I would imagine the other two are close to being full. That is Middle Park and Murrumbina. So if they are and you're trying it into those and you can't, get in the Bayswater. I mean, it's a fresh tournament. The entry form should be going around in the next couple of weeks. Um, COVID pending, obviously, with all of this stuff. So look, if you miss out on playing in one of these tournaments, doesn't matter. Go down and support them. They could use it. That's what you need to be doing. That's what I'm trying to do here. Supporting these clubs, supporting the game. Just go down and have a beer, watch some bowls. It's no secret that I love a beer, but there is something so secret, even mum doesn't have the recipe. And that's Lee Schrainer's Schrunger Schnitzel Crumb. 
head on over to Lee's website, schrungerschnitzelcrumb.com. Lee currently has free samples available to the end of August. To get yourself a free sample, head on over to his website, schrungerschnitzel.com.au. So a huge thank you to Lee uh, for getting around the show. Much appreciated, bud. Uh, now, I want to finish my beer, so let's go back to the second part of me talk with Lucas. Uh, right, Lucas, I wanted to ask you a bit more about uh, what you're currently doing bowling-wise, not necessarily working-wise, but uh, <laughs> last season you were in the state, state side for the disability squad, is that correct? I was, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was. Um, yeah, so... I've been uh, playing for Victoria now for seven years. Oh, wow. Um, so, fingers crossed I get picked for number eight. Yeah, um, when's, when's selection due for that? Selection is due, well, trials is on the is on the 21st of August. Okay. And, yep. then, um, and then after the state trials, they'll go through a progress of who they're going to pick out of 10 players. Yeah. Um, Fingers crossed, I get picked, and we're playing in our nationals. Is at um, Mermaid Beach on, in Queensland. Oh, lovely! In yeah. October, I think it's just before the um, pennant starts here. In oh, Victoria. awesome! Couldn't ask for a better place to play it too. We stayed up at Mermaid Beach for the Oz Open a few years back. It was yeah, beautiful up there. So anywhere in Queensland, I <laughs> <laughs> anywhere in Victoria is good too, man. But yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Queensland's always sunny there, so. Uh, what what actually qualifies you to play uh, in the disability state side? Because looking at um, the Paralympics, which is starting after the Olympics, I think late August, August 24th, I think the Paralympics kicks off. So um, to be eligible to compete in that, you have to have a physical, visual or intellectual disability um, that leads to a permanent activity limitation. Uh, is bowls run the same way? They have the same criteria? Bowls is a Commonwealth sport, so it's not an Olympic sport yet. Where yep. fingers crossed yeah. for Brisbane, it might be. We'll see hopefully. how we go with that. Plenty of time between now and Brisbane, so hopefully by then. Plenty of time between now and Brisbane, but hopefully it's going to be a yeah, Olympic sport. Um, anyway, so power, bowl, um, power bowls is eligible is the same. Yep. Um, so the vision, the vision impaired, and the physical disability are classifications and are able to represent the state. Unfortunately, at this stage, there is no classification system for the intellectual disability. Okay, yeah. So hopefully right. that answered your question. <laughs> A lot of work has to go into it to make it all work. Um, yeah. Anyone yeah, else involved uh, that you want to give a shout out to? Or? Yeah, so... <laughs> So shout out to Bowles Victoria's Disability uh, Support Committee. Yep. Um, obviously, my mum is the is on the community com community, um, and most people wouldn't even know there is such a committee. They help organise open days, group days, tournaments, and uh, assist Bowles Victoria with the selections. Yeah, no, I'd speak. Um, are there many shout tournaments? Out to that. So yeah, so we we've got um, uh, in, integrated pairs, which you've got to have. So an able body like yourself, Seth, oh, and me well, with a semi. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, yeah, semi. All right, we'll give you that. It's falling semi apart pretty that. quickly as I get older, mate. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's uh, Barry, um, yeah. which depends obviously covid restrictions and all that kind yeah, of stuff obviously yeah um and then we've got a tournament on a colac and then okay. that's again it's an it's an integrated triple so you're going to have two people with a disability and yep. one person as able body as yourself um and then there's also another triples tournament at um Hurstbridge, and they do um Two people with able body and one disabled player. Okay. Or yeah. you can be mixed. It could be two disabled and one. Yeah. Oh, well, one able body. So a nice, a nice so, range of tournaments there you can play in. So. 
Yeah, I was going to say, all those kind of dates, we don't know when any of those kind of tournaments are going to be on at the moment. So any of yeah. those dates will apply on, will come on the um, Bowls Victoria website. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Because uh, everyone, uh, I think most of you still get around and play in in open tournaments. And yeah, I know yeah, you do especially. You've knocked me off in plenty of tournaments before. So, uh, uh, Well, uh, yeah. And, and Pennant, mind you. You've seen that as well. <laughs> right on, mate. Settle down. Night like Pennant. But that's fine. <laughs> Just I'm a bit of fun trying here. Over, relax. Trying to, get, trying to get over that. <laughs> uh, no. No, no. Um, yeah, no, no. I try to get as many as out there as 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 much as you know and um yeah. i think the more people like me to try and get out there you know might bring more people coming in so um but yeah there's a lot of us playing around in victoria and um so just to give me a better understanding and and the viewers out there uh yeah we've known each other for a long time and i do remember yeah. back in the day you used to have what would you call it aids with your shin splints and a stick yeah AFOs, and, yeah and uh now you don't you don't need anything do you don't so, need any of them no. Um, so has your classification then changed over time or do you no, remain so my, with the same classification? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So I have a cerebral palsy, yeah. um, which is obviously is a permit. So it affects my legs. Yeah. I can't run or, or walk with and a long walk very stride fast, or balance <laughs> <laughs> until I, uh, until I do a face plan on the green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then obviously when we first met, um, I had AFOs, which um, which come up to my yeah. Don't ask me what it means. I got no idea. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> but they went. They started from my half of my neck, and it goes all the way down to my foot, um, and that gives me more, more balance, um, as you know, so I can get through bowls games. Yeah. And then, um, long story short, I had a long surgery. Um, and they went from like from my hamstrings all the way down to my knee, up to, yeah. down to my ankle, sorry. Um, and I had like an extra bone in my in my hamstring, which gave me a new knee, um, screws in my foot, to, wow. um, and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah. Um, surgeons told me that um, I can get rid of my AFOs that I've been wearing, and um, yep. you don't need them. So you're just yeah, a that's awesome. normal boy, and um, yeah, you know, go to the gym and things getting more balanced up and yeah so yeah so in a way 25 ends i couldn't do it through pennant i was just getting so exhausted yeah um, i had to sit down every you know five ends and now i'm playing 21 ends and i'm fit as fit as a goat so i could play 25 ends and we're still playing pennant but yeah, um, no, yeah so my my ability now is much better now than it was yeah way way back yeah, there's a bit more to it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's all right. I think it gives people a better a better understanding of it all. I know I certainly learned something just then because I had no idea. I knew you played on yeah, the good. side and, and there was others who played on the side and he's all sort of, I mean, most of you, does anyone sort of share, do you share disabilities or everyone sort of have something? A lot of people, like, I've, I've really come out of my shell in the last, or well, maybe three, well, maybe last year i had to really come out to talk about it because i really was really scared of yeah. talking about my disability so it really comes down to um you know comes down to you if you really want to talk about it um yeah. some people don't want to talk about it. some people do want to talk about it no no but, but i mean you, they talk about it. but even when we get to, across the board don't you so yeah, yeah yeah and and that's what and that's what bowls is all about you know and they they yeah come back to you guys um you know heathmont they've been a really friendly club for me and they're um yep. you know they're helping me yeah up there <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh yeah that's what you get so for getting people, on the show you get your club shirt up there and get the club up yeah yeah so they, they've been really good um friends for me and that keeps me motivated to keep going out to play the game yeah yeah that's awesome so you said you've been in the side for the last seven years. Is that seven yeah, years so straight? You haven't missed any there? Well, yeah, I did miss one. You did miss um, one, yeah. Really the last eight years, you've, you've played into the last seven or th that you were yeah. available, but it's eight. the last eight years you could have. So how did you get well, into it? Who got um, you into the first season? Like who who set you up? Who who found you? Did you find, find the selectors who yeah, were running so the side? Yeah, so so my mum, Carol Protapis, yeah. uh, she she said to me, why don't you um, 
tried and played bowls for dis- disabled. And, um, you know, because at that stage, I was really scared. Like, I thought I was the only one with a yeah. disability playing bowls. Yeah. And she said, like, you know, let's look it up and, you know, see if you can go along and, and play. So, uh, yeah, so we did that. So I first uh, represented Victoria in 2011. Um, so yeah, so Juan Maria was the coach and he's, he's organized. So he entered the team, um, and he ran group, group training days. So we represented Victoria, um, wasn't until Nicole Shortest, um, took over as coach and that Bowles Victoria got up, got behind us and represented Victoria for seven years. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, it took a while for the state to come to, well, Bowles Victoria to come together to look after us. And then once yeah. we got the green light from them, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. So. No, it's been the same. I mean, Bowles has really started to fly just across the board, not just in the disability side of things. But I remember back under 18s, um, so going back 15 years ago now, it was the same thing. Um, we got told then. Uh, trolling for stateside that if we made the side we had to find our own way over to South Australia I think they were playing then yeah yeah. and uh, I just couldn't afford it so I I pulled out of even trialling yeah but I mean now I think everything spells Vic sort of look after everything looks after everyone now but I mean that's just bowls bowls as a whole it it used to be hard to find a game used to be hard to get accepted being a young person couldn't imagine for you being young and disabled yeah couldn't imagine the way you're feeling but i mean you got to be proud of yourself though because the way you uh went about it back then was, you'd never stop smiling that's all mm-hmm. i ever remember from you was just constant smiling on the green you used to shit your tears because you'd be smiling while kicking my ass and that was <laughs> that was never fun i didn't like that at all so uh, uh, yes and no, you still no. do you still do but back then you're a little upstart and it 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 hurt a bit more now everybody knows how good you are now so it's a bit uh, yeah it's a bit, bit scary now i would like to go back when no one knew to now yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no um and i think um exactly like i don't want to put it all back onto myself or anything but you know if i didn't take up playing with disabled in bowls like my bowls career would have gone from zero to where it is yeah. now yeah um and you know that's it you know, um, yeah, it was if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm it wasn't sure for mum to say something about it, I wouldn't be where I am. So, well, uh, your mum's a great lady. I've known her for a long time too. So, also at his mum, just putting that. Yes, out there. <laughs> yes, of course. Good on you. So, all abilities. So, we have a, a all abilities open day. So, hey. we have an open day on the twenty second of August. Where's the open day? Oh, at? and the, and this is at um, Deer Park Bowling Club. Oh, perfect. Beautiful spot there, Deer Park. Imagine. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, so what can yeah. people expect showing up there? Uh, just, you know, people can just expect everyone doing band time with each other. Yeah. Um, a lot of bowlers are really good. So like, you, like we were talking before, you know, we've got a lot of people representing Victoria. We've got People now going to hopefully be able to represent Australia there yeah. as well. So we've yeah, got, awesome. um, yeah, so lucky two out of the three players that won the Commonwealth Games back in 2018, they, um, two of them come from Victoria. So, yeah, wow. um, that, so that's a pretty good achievement, just, not just for bowls, but for yeah. bowls in Victoria. So, yeah, no, yeah so hopefully they'll have be, both be there and, um, yeah. It's all about banter. Yeah. It, nah, that's it. You've got to enjoy it. That's the whole point of bowls, man. You've got to get around each other and enjoy the thing. So. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I was going to say, Zach, too, um, thank you very much for having me on. Um, you know, it's a privilege to be your number one on the number one episode. <laughs> no, I love it, mate. Thanks um, very much for coming on. It's very Yeah, and I would like to wish you all the very best with it. And, um, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Thank you, man. I notice uh, you got a special shirt on there. Oh, yes. I've got this. Uh, let me see if I can do this. There you go. You got me a little got care all, package. All your shirt on here. Yeah. 
all above board, so by the way, COVID police. I just left it in his mailbox and ran. It's fine. <laughs> he did, yes. He got the right house, which is great too. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was the, the black of in night. The darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't forget to mention that I beat you too. Uh, I think we've mentioned it about <laughs> 10 times during this interview. So. <laughs> <laughs> Remind CJ when you see him too. But anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He'll never forget it, mate. Never forget it. Uh, right, Lucas. Well, I think that's, uh, I think we've covered everything sort of we wanted to talk about tonight. So. As long yeah. as everyone gets out there and has a go at bowls, you never know. The sport could be yours. Um that's what it is. You know, go out there and might win a Commonwealth Games one day and play for Australia. So Yeah. I want to give you a big thank you for uh, coming on the show, being my first guest. Couldn't ask for a better person to come on. So thanks so much for getting up your time. No and, worries. Um, Any time. Good luck with the Open Day. Good luck with making num side number eight. I'm not going to give you the eighth one already because you did miss it. No, Even if you think yeah. you would have been selected. I'm sure you yeah, would have been, right. but <laughs> well, mate, yeah, you'll get the officially uh, official eighth one, mate. No doubt about it. So, so you no, look after yourself, you. pal, and have a uh, have a great season. COVID pending, obviously, but thanks thank again, you, pal. Zach. No, I appreciate it, and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy being back at Bayswater, and uh, thanks, hopefully we we'll, might come up against each other in tenant. You never know. You yeah, never, never know. I'll, never, I'll get some vengeance know. back on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll need some. That's all right. But no, again, thank you. And um, good luck with all this show. You've done a great job so far. So keep Thanks, it up. mate. Good on you, brother. Cheers for the time, mate. Thank you. So we said it a bit towards the end of that video, but yet another big thank you to Lucas, mate. Really appreciate you coming on. But on next week's episode, We'll ideally be getting a local coach into the studio, but COVID pending, obviously. We'll also be having a little chat with Lee Schrainer over Zoom, a little bit of talk about his new product, and uh, might be able to throw him some questions. So if you get down in the comments below, if you have to do it on Facebook, fine, but ideally we'd like to see him on YouTube. Throw some questions, coaching, Lee, whatever you'd like, doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all casual. My beer's over, so is the show. See you guys.